Good afternoon. How's everybody out there at Goshio doing today? Good. Good. Well, it's wonderful to see your bright and smiley faces this afternoon. Welcome to Sea Trek, everyone. My name is Casey, and I'll be your host today. And we're coming to you live from Moat Marine Laboratory right here in Sarasota, Florida. Now, we're here to talk about some pretty amazing reptiles of the sea, sea turtles. Now, you all have been studying sea turtles a little bit, right? Yes. yes. Excellent. And I see that you do have lots of artwork on the back of the classroom. That looks awesome. So it sounds like you guys have maybe talked about the different kinds of turtles that we can find in the ocean, right? Yes. Excellent. So I've got a little friend here. We're going to talk about sea turtles today, but I have a very special friend who lives here at Moat Marine Laboratory. This is Boogie. And Boogie is not a sea turtle, but he is a diamondback terrapin. So we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between sea turtles and their cousins that live on land and that live in freshwater. Our goal is to treat them to get them healthy enough to release them back out into the wild. Some sea turtles stay here for only a few weeks, some stay a few months, some even stay a few years. But like I said, we want to make sure that these sea turtles are healthy enough to be released back into the wild. Now you're looking at a sea turtle release that happened right here in Sarasota on Lido Beach. So if a sea turtle were to see this plastic grocery bag floating along, what do you think it would mistake it for? David? A jellyfish. A jellyfish, you've got it. We've learned today that some sea turtles love to eat jellies like the leatherback. Other sea turtles might even like to eat squid or even fish. And plastic floating in the ocean can look an awful lot like a sea turtle's favorite food. So the best thing we can do is make sure that that plastic does not end up in the ocean. Take that grocery bag back to the grocery store. You can recycle it there. You can even bring your own reusable totes instead of using that plastic bag. Excellent questions, you guys. Well, I have a question for you, and so does Boogie. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad. Did you guys learn a few new things about sea turtles today? Yeah. All right. Good deal. You guys, I know, knew a lot about sea turtles before I started talking with you. You guys are awesome sea turtle scientists, and I really hope you did learn something new today. So I have a little challenge for you. I want all of you out there at Goshio to go home today and tell somebody you know one cool sea turtle fact that you learned about with me. Because if we tell other people about sea turtles, or even our friends the terrapins, they might want to learn more about these animals, and they might want to help protect them just like you guys did today. Day. Well, I really hope you guys did have a blast because I had so much fun with you. So thank you for inviting us into your classroom. Be sure to thank Mr. Joe from us. And thank you, Miss H. We hope to see you guys again. Happy holidays, everyone. Until next time, bye-bye from Moat Marine Laboratory. Bye. 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 Bye.